Hey, what's up, guys? This is Max from HardwareHobbyist.com. Please excuse my voice. Um, I'm kind of sick. My throat hurts, but I'm going to do this video anyway because I just got the DOS Ultimate Keyboard, and I was pretty excited to open it and try it out, and I wanted to do a video of the first unboxing before I did that. So um, this is the Ultimate Edition, which does not have any markings on the keys. They're all black, as you can see, like that. And uh, DOS does make other models <clears throat> and um, they have markings so don't worry if you want to get one of these and uh, you're not a good typer you don't you you still have to look at the keyboard but um I thought this was kind of cool because you can troll troll your friends if they don't know where the keys are stuff like that so um, and also I bought it because I want to learn to be a better touch typer because um, right now my form is kind of bad and I want to practice uh, getting faster so um, I'm hoping this will help me a lot <coughs> And for games, um, I find that it doesn't really matter because when do you ever look at the keyboard when you play a game? Like, you, if you play it enough, you just automatically know where the keys are that are applied to that game anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it really quick here. Um, now, this is a mechanical keyboard, and I'm sure you can find plenty of other videos on YouTube. So I'm going to try and keep this short. And I'm um, just going to show you a few of the key features, which will be the end key rollover, basically... Um, and then how the switches work on the individual keys and some advantages of mechanical keyboards and then I'm going to do a little typing test to show you guys how it sounds. So here's um, a cover. It comes with a cleaning cloth because the bezel around it is um, a glossy uh, so it's good to clean fingerprints stuff like that. <coughs> Alright so I will start this again when I get it out. Alright guys, so here it is. Um, very simple packaging. All DOS includes in um, their package is <coughs> a PS2 to USB adapter. This is important for N key rollover to work because USB only supports um, six key presses at a time plus uh, I think the shift and, and control keys count as modifiers so you can have a couple of those at the same time. It's kind of complicated but um, with the adapter here you can have unlimited range just because that's the nature of the USB interface versus the PS2. <clears throat> and that's also another reason that motherboard manufacturers keep uh, putting a PS2 port for keyboards in addition to the um, overclocking south bridge thing where the USB controller might fail. Um, it's also nice to have it to support end key rollover like uh, mechanical keyboards like this one have. So um, then they include this little paper with just some web addresses and stuff like that and then the cloth of course I showed you guys that already and that's it <clears throat> so I'm going to take off the plastic here and uh, there you can see it there's no markings on any of the keys and um, one of the main reasons I bought this keyboard was because uh, when shopping for mechanical keyboards I noticed that a lot of them have um, something up here that I don't like which is the backspace key that is um, basically like one square like the same size as this one and then this key is completely taken out and put here which is the vertical bar and um, forward slash I think and then uh, the enter key is one of those fat ones that goes all the way up there and I can't stand that setup I like to have the thicker backspace key and the bar and slash right here so um, <clears throat> I'm glad that DOS makes them like that the Steel Series 7G doesn't and um, I believe Philco um, might make them like that. I've, I haven't really looked into that though. Um, and also Razer's Black Widow does make it like this. But the Black Widow does not support Enki rollover which was a kind of disappointment from Razer. Um, it does have a backlight though so if you're into that thing then that's cool. And also has extra keys on the side here. But um, I'm going to do a little thing just show you how the keys sound. And um, as you can hear, they're very audible. I got the Cherry MX Blue switches, which um, provide a little tactile click halfway down through the press about. And then I can bottom the key out. So if you can hear that, the click, like that, that's when the actual key is registered. And then you can bottom it out if you're typing fast or whatever. But It has a really, really light feel to it. 
to get to the clicks. So these supposedly make you um, a very fast typer if you get used to them because you don't have to depress the keys very far at all. And on comparison, my old keyboard, which is the Logitech Illuminated keyboard, the very thin one. <coughs> That's just a standard membrane keyboard, I believe. So um, I'm going to just plug this in and show you guys a demonstration of any key rollover. Alright guys, so I have both of them hooked up here, um, and I have Word open. And uh, <clears throat> I just want to talk about the keyboard a little bit first, and um, show you guys around it. So it has another USB connection um, that comes off this main cable, which I have plugged in here into my um, PS2 port. But as you can see, it splits off right here. And you have this, which you can plug into another USB port, and it acts as a USB hub, which there's two ports on the side of it right there. So you can plug um, devices in there, like flash drives and things like that. Um, <coughs> it is USB 2, though, um, not USB 3 yet. They'll probably update that um, in later versions, but we'll see. The keyboard itself is very heavy. It's uh, It feels well-constructed. or well constructed. I hear everybody say that, so I thought I'd say it too, because it's actually true. And um, let's look at the bottom here. There are these two flippy legs that you can use to raise it, <coughs> if that suits your typing stance better. Um, there's some model information, and that's pretty much it. Another leg thing on the bottom. And they have nice rubber grips right there and it doesn't slide around at all feels really sturdy um, kinda cool the lights for numlock are they don't like actually show up as a button until you press it and then scroll lock right there so that's kinda cool and that's basically the same for every DOS keyboard I'm gonna talk a little bit about the switches now um, this one has cherry MX blues I mentioned that before but there's other kinds that DOS um, provides, which are Cherry MX Browns, which give you a click when you depress the key, but it's not so audible. It's a little bit quieter. And um, then there's Cherry MX Blacks, which I don't think DOS um, provides, but those switches will not give you a tactile click, and they won't make as much noise either. So um, those are offered by other manufacturers if uh, you don't like the noise level but I find it very cool as do many other people but it's just personal preference so um, there's that um, I'll give you a picture in the video of what the keys actually look like under I don't have a tool to remove it right now you can probably do it um, with something else but I haven't looked it up yet so I'm gonna give you a little demonstration here <coughs> um, alright so we have a word doc here blank um, let's see, I have to put the camera down to do this. Alright All right, guys, so I have the camera perched very precariously on top of a not so sturdy thing that I just grabbed. So, um, I think right here you can see that very well though. Alright, hopefully it won't fall. So this first one I'm going to do is um, I'm going to type with 10 fingers um, at once on ASDFV and then uh, N J K L semicolon and that's my all my fingers together with the Logitech keyboard that does not have N rollover. <clears throat> so as you can see, um, only six of them were printed, and uh, they weren't um, all printed at once because I sort of did it from left to right, I guess. But um, that's a demonstration of not N key rollover, and then this is with it. And as you can see, they are all printed instantly, and um, it's really smooth. So essentially, that's what it is. Um, take it for what it's worth. If you play a game that you press more than six keys at once, um, then it'd probably be very useful for you. Otherwise, not so much, but it's kind of a cool feature to have. So, um, all right, that's it for this video. Um, oh, wait, no, I was going to do a typing demonstration with the noise level. All right. So, just in case you guys wanted to see, I had my camera 
on top of this Razer mouse pad box that was at the edge of my desk. And it's very light and unstable, so glad it didn't fall. Alright guys, so a couple quick things before I do a typing demonstration. Um, the keyboard itself is really easy to clean because you can get a little tool that can remove all the keys and clean on the inside of it really easily. And then the pricing on it is $129. Um, you can find it around the internet, give or take, that much. And um, other manufacturers' mechanical keyboards are pretty much priced in the same range. So I'm going to do a little demonstration here, um, typing a sentence that uses every letter uh, in the alphabet so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Um, and that is, let's see, Max can jump over the quick brown fox and the lazy dog because he goes to www.hardwarehobbies.com. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hardware Hobbies out.